The Chairman of the Presidential Task Force, um, uh, Honorable Ministers, uh, members of the PTF, um, gentlemen of the press, um, good evening. Uh, last week, um, I spoke on the East uh, lockdown guidelines. Um, today, I'll be reiterating parts of the protocol again um, so that people can be reminded. Uh, before I do that, um, I just wanted to emphasize the fact that the PTF um, continues to drive the fight against COVID-19 based on a very scientific approach that's data-driven. Every part of our protocol is carefully considered, is carefully discussed at the PTF, and we also look at the scientific basis before rolling it out. And there's no doubt that COVID continues to be with us. Uh, for those who continue to deny the existence of COVID, I would say that close to 20 million people cannot be wrong. We have about 730 deaths worldwide. And uh, indeed, it continues to be a threat to our way of life. Um, we encourage persons above the age of 60 and those with an underlying medical illness to continue to keep away from the general public and to preferably stay at home. Um, as stated at the last press briefing on Thursday, the ease lockdown phase two has been extended by four weeks from the 6th of August to the 5th of September. In terms of the various aspects of the protocols, the ones that I would like to re-emphasize are general movements. So the nationwide curfew remains from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. We continue to have restrictions on mass gatherings and the security agencies have been uh, encouraged and asked to continue to take actions against uh, repeated violations, and we will continue to do so in the interest of public health. Uh, movement of people across state borders, as well as goods, will continue, but only outside the curfew hours. Uh, we have been working closely with the aviation and port health authorities over the last few days, and we are confident that we will start the process of opening our international airports as soon as possible, while domestic flights continue to be in operation. Transport services must maintain all non-pharmaceutical interventions and ensure appropriate PPEs for all healthcare workers. We are linking up with the Federal Road Safety Commission to ensure that the guidelines they have developed are enforced within the public sector side. For markets and uh, restaurants, I would like to uh, emphasize the need for mandatory non-pharmaceutical interventions, particularly the use of face masks. Uh, restaurants are advised that they can only operate take-out services unless those restaurants are part of uh, hotel accommodation. Um, as mentioned earlier by the chairman, conditional opening for exit students uh, in terms of schools has already commenced. Uh, banks are now operating regular hours with limitation of their staff to 75% capacity. Uh, we urge banks to please accommodate those that are elderly, people who are living with disabilities, and customers that do not have access to internet services and prioritize them. The policy of no mask no entry, no mask, no service must be followed. For government offices, um, we have started operating full services Monday to Friday, full time, but only for civil servants uh, grade level 12 and above. Uh, hotels remain open, and uh, we have removed restrictions on non-contact communal sports that uh, out outdoors but bars, gyms, uh, cinemas, clubs, and event centers must remain closed. COVID is a silent enemy. It is an enemy that we cannot see with our naked eyes. Because of that, 
it's difficult to understand the extent of the risk we face. Behavioral change in itself requires a discipline. It also requires visibility in terms of the risks um, that we are facing. But we can only get on top of the COVID pandemic by continuing to work together and have an enhanced self-awareness of our environment and the need to abide by non-pharmaceutical interventions. The PTF urges all Nigerians to take the guidelines seriously. These guidelines can be found on the PTF website and will be published on all social media platforms as well as um, newspapers. We all have a part to play in ensuring adherence. We certainly cannot win this fight against coronavirus alone. We have to do it collectively. We may have escaped the worst. We are pleased that the numbers are starting to, uh, to stabilize, although this is a reflection also of the testing we're doing. But we know that the positivity rates are gradually coming down. Therefore, let us please persevere. This is not the time for complacency. Let us live, let us survive, and let us remain safe. Thank you.